Hi everybody, welcome back to some Bioshock. Uh, so, in this episode, we're fucking around, whatever. So, uh, I just want to go over why the game didn't necessarily, like, I kind of was doing this blind. Usually I do games a little bit before I do them, I just didn't assume this one to be so different, you know? And, you know, it's not, it's not that bad, it doesn't really matter to me. It, it's just that mostly, I just want to show you, um, I have adaptive training off, and I don't know if I should keep that off. I'll probably actually put that back on. I just assumed I, I'd play the base game and it wouldn't be a problem, but, you know. Uh, it, I guess that does teach you stuff as you go. Maybe it's a little late for that, to start doing that at this point. But, uh, you know. Whatever. So, we're back to some stealth gameplay. Did we- I, I don't even think we got the fucking- The- the code for that door. What's even the point of having a code for the door, though? That's the real question. Because, you know... I, I just got through it, like, down there, so... Alright, well... Continue... These... <laughs> uh, they, they, they can hear really far. But that doesn't really matter much to me. Be honest. Oh, I, I missed a lockpick here. Again. So, yeah, I know the purple things are vents, by the way. And you can kind of see through the wall and see the vents. Alright. Did that hurt me a little bit? I don't actually know. I wasn't really paying attention to my health when I dropped down there. Oh, and it went into my Steam menu because I pressed I pressed uh, shift. Because it, it, for whatever reason, remembers I pressed tab, so... I don't know. Don't ask me. This is way too dark in here. I, I you know, I, I I could take over these turrets. I'm just hesitant to because it's... I, I feel to waste resources. Oh, well, I didn't mean to put that on. How do I keys? Oh yeah, Q, that's right. Q is, uh... Okay, so let's see, where can I... Where can I leave? Ah, uh, it doesn't really go that far. Let's go let him come over here, then. So while I move, this thing drains the eave, but... It's not really wholly necessary. Now someone said I could I could make no noise if I jump behind someone and uh Okay, never mind. It didn't really work. I, I thought I thought it's like you have to crouch or something. I can't believe I missed that first shot. Exactly the kind of gameplay you don't expect from me. You know what? You know what? I, I have something that other let's players don't. Do other Let's Players lift? No, they don't. I, I personally would not watch anyone who could lift less than two plates. And now we got the thing. Got it. That was the last of it. So now you think you can manage the repair? Sure. I've been fixing quantum field generators since kindergarten. I know right where you are. So I could just stand here and wait for him. Or I can just kind of go right behind him. It doesn't cost that much heave. We heard someone there. You can't fool me. Move movement cancels your ability to see through walls. Oh, really? You can't judge a man only by his bookings. Characters gotta come into account. Let's just let him come down. Won't steal my leads! My God tells me you're near. I always follow my God. There, made him come down. Got to collect the stuff. You know, if I killed him up there, I probably wouldn't be able to get up, get that stuff there. You know, it was all part of my plan. Especially since I could perma invis at any time. All right, well, let's go press a button. Any progress, love? I must confess. I'm becoming a wee bit skeptical. Remind me, why am I supposed to care? You see, me lads have taken a keen thirst for Adam. And there's a vintage right in front of me that'll do nicely. If you kill her, 
I truly hope you are happy living down here. Put down roots, raise a family. Or maybe you think Andrew Ryan is going to ride to your rescue. Fair enough. But remember, there are fast ways to harvest little sisters and some very slow ones. Wow, what an asshole. I love that guy. Alright, let's go to the shotgun with two, two ammo. Why is it green? I think there's a more than one person there. Uh, let's go to the... Uh, fucking... Uh, this is knockout, knockout, knockout gas. Well, I don't need to kill them. So I can knock them all out. I mean that, that that that's a that's a like a splash damage weapon. That's fucking crazy. I like the shotgun, so we have to. Need to finish him off in one hit. Wow. Okay. You know, you're really not supposed to do combat-related stuff here. I just, I kind of just want to, you know, because I'm a fucking dick. Oh yeah, it's the guy who got stabbed. It, it really is. It's easier. Like the shotgun, kind of, it blows. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, mo most of the combat-related weapons, they all blow because Elizabeth isn't as uh, accurate with them, or she can't put as much ammo in them. Like I use both the shots and the shotgun. So, but like this, opposed to the, the tranquilizer dart, which can like basically one-hit them. What the fuck is that guy doing? Oh, dude, he just came down for me. That's that's really nice of him. Alright, so what, what do we have left to do? Uh, no, I don't want to do navigation. God damn it. I press that and it, it takes like a second for it to disappear. Uh, so we're, we're trying to repair. Optional, find the secret in the... Ma oh, that's right, the Manta Ray Lodge. Uh, the final message included a sketch of three wine bottles in a row. Okay, let's go back to the Manta Ray... It's what, like right here. Making sure no one's here. So it says three wine bottles in a row. Welcome to the party, boys. So there's like wine right down here. Let me just make sure nobody's here. Three rhyme wine bottles in a row. Uh, well, there's a lot of uh, wine wine bottles. Let me just read through that again. Uh, final at, uh, include a sketch of three wine bottles in a row. Find the location. Okay, so um, not necessarily here. I, I see something flashing, sort of ish over there. Can I hop over there? No. Okay, I guess not. As well, it shouldn't take me that long to find it. I was hoping that I'd go into these things. See, so we got some tranquilizer ammo out of that. I think it tells me it's like something here. No, not really. Oh, well, these are nice. Those bottles. Just like on the coded note to Fontaine. Wow. 
what shall we find in the secret of the Sphinx? Fedoras. This is not a, a prize worthy of my time. I hate, I hate Fedoras. Fontaine and Atlas. Son of a bitch. Wait, how did she guess this? Uh, how, how did she get- is it by the suits? Like this? Like, what? Oh, here. Sushong, I'm gonna make this clear as can be. So we don't have any miscommunications. Where the hell is the ace in the hole? You think you can stiff Frank Fontaine? I paid good money for state-of-the-art weaponry. I ain't losing this war just because you found yourself a higher bidder. I can promise you, I ain't never been one to lose with dignity. Alright, Al, that, there's a secret room for you. That was a fun search. Didn't take that long to find a uh, super duper secret. Okay, so where are we heading off to now? Uh, we gotta find Old Man Winter. We already have that, I think. Uh, CO2 scrubber and a cathode tube. Don't I have all of that? Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, we got it all. Uh, there was actually one thing I did miss. Uh, someone was very adamant in the comments. Now, remember there was like a place I was at before? Uh, I don't know, it was like a lower floor. Big Daddy still roams. Medicine from your pal Atlas. Uh, there were some like doors I forgot to open, but yeah, like that. I didn't open this guy. Five? Fucking lockpicks. I thought it'd be three. Not gonna lie. Well, we gotta go find a fucking machine with more lockpicks. What's that blue thing, I wonder? That's hand cannon ammo. We gotta go find a, a vending machine. Alright, we're... Let's go test drive. Hey. Uh, oh, he heard my splashing in the water. Uh, yeah, there was one over here. Just making sure, using my wall hack's vision. Oh, for fuck's sake. From those afraid to let the market take its natural course. Well, well, what was that? Gotta let this guy die first. Look, uh, look at what you done to him. Fair warning. I'm an eye for an eye type of fella. <laughs> well, now I got two eyes. All right, let's go buy a bunch of fucking lockpicks. There we go. There better be something good in that fucking door, because I swear. If this was all for nothing, I'm blaming Kant, and we're stopping all co-ops with him. You think Frank Fontaine died? I still don't really get how she pieced it together. I'm guessing by the clothing, but you know, it, but that wasn't too obvious. At least in my opinion. Maybe maybe I missed out on something there. Alright. Alright, time to open up this magical lock.
Alright, what's in here? Winter forget mod. Cause enemies to forget the player once they thaw out. Wow, absolutely fucking useless. I don't care for that at all. Thank you. Okay, let's see if there's another place somewhere. That that upsets me slightly. I I just wasted a fuck ton of money. That's something I I will never fucking use. This guy is like really willing to go after the big daddies. Me so unprepared as this one. Viz is like the best thing. Alright, did, did we miss anything over here? I wonder. Because I have a feeling that I'm going to be going into uh, a dark and horrible place very soon. I Was there a, a lockpick thing here somewhere? No? Okay, I do think we got everything. Uh, let's see. Run over there. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, thank you, good sir. That's uh, a lot of health he took off all at once. Oh, there's a lockpick right there. Okay, that didn't quite bring me to where I wanted me to be. Let's try this again. Let's go out the door. There's nothing to be afraid of. Okay, she kind of glitched up. Like, she's just kind of like tapping on the wall or something. Now, of course, if someone shoots me now, I'm, I'm just fucking toast. Probably should go buy a medkit from a vending machine. But who the fuck does that? I don't even know if the 1999 mode actually removes anything in this diff in this, uh... Because I seem to... The little test is just... You don't belong here. Latessa just seemed to bring me back to life. Alright, we're good. Well, I'm pretty sure we have everything. There was one thing I do remember, though, I, I had here. Adds an area of effect projectile that can freeze multiple enemies. Okay. Well, let's have a look and see if we can fix this. Can't use. Well, not the perfect phosphor frequency, but it'll do. Now we won't immediately die of CO2 poisoning the moment we turn the thing on. Uh. Okay, that should stop it from overheating. There. Everything's fixed. We're ready. Let's fire it up and see. What did I tell you? Enter terror. Dress warned by our first lady. Okay. It can't be this easy. The first lady Mark II was built around a particle lift system just like all the buildings in the city. I read all about it in the Columbian Scientific. The particle seated at the top of the structure. Must be up that lift. Perfect. Is this is this the same one I was on before? Like, uh, in the first game. Seems like a lot of technology just to float an airship. 
Comstock never heard of hydrogen. The First Lady Mark I did run on hydrogen, and it was destroyed by a single bullet from a Vox sniper. Unfortunately, the Prophet wasn't on board at the time. I'm wondering if they're going to now merge the events of the, the, the first Bioshock Infinite. I don't know why I'm saying first, because... If I take the active particle, then the First Lady is just a 40-ton paperweight. Best to take the spare. Here we go. Now let's head back through that tear. You honestly expect Atlas to honor his side of the deal? No. I will cross that bridge when we come to it. How do you plan on handling Atlas? He ain't just some spliced up maniac. He'll make a mistake. I just have to be ready to take advantage of it when it happens. All for a girl you barely know. How well did you know me when you came to Columbia? I can still open the door. Nothing but trouble that way. Best to head straight back to Rapture. Oh, shucks. I can't. Why would I want to go back to Rapture? I'm here. I don't have to fucking do anything. Pretty lady not finished yet. What? Open the tear. Power for devices. Very expensive. Eat for that. Just tell me what you want. So John want something as simple. Lock of hair. Oh, you're not serious. Not your hair, stupid. Think has a cigarette light. Mothballed, forgotten. In there, hair sample. In jar. Cannot miss it. You get for Sutra. Then everybody friends. Where is his lab? Closed off past Fink's quarters. And you smart lady, you find. Should have seen that one coming. I guess that's all the time we have for today. Next time uh, we'll continue. Take care, guys. Bye.